Fuck Nessig. Fuck yourself. Salam alaikum. It's so nice to do a gig for people who understand that. I uh, do comedy in London for nine years. This is my tenth year of comedy. I'm now in Egypt, motherland, fatherland. Not the fatherland, but you know. <laughs> Uh, I am a comedian that does impressions. Uh, for first impression, American, okay, in Starbucks, okay? Starbucks. Starbucks, yes. <laughs> I'll have some non dairy fat creamer. Ah. It's not bad, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good, yeah? yeah. 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 Try very hard. Next impression, Gollum. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, Gollum. <laughs> the Precious, thank you. Somebody watches TV, not in Al Qaeda. <laughs> so, call him impression. <laughs> the voice? Yeah. Nasty fat hobbits! <laughs> Thank you very much. And now, final impression. Do we have anyone from London or from UK or Great Britain? Yes, who? You? You're from London? Whereabouts? Liverpool! Do they have Nigerian minicab drivers in Liverpool? Yes. Okay, do you go clubbing in Liverpool? <coughs> yes! My name is Seb, I am addicted to clubbing. Hi Seb, welcome to... No. Uh, Alcoholics Anonymous for those who know. Anyway, so... So Liverpool, yes? Yeah, sure. Okay. So let's say you're coming out and uh, this is next impression, Nigerian minicab driver. Where are you going to, sir? I know where I am going. I got my driving license from Idi Amin himself. <laughs> Would you like a minicab, sir? Minicab, sir? Minicab, sir? Minicab, sir? Minicab, sir? They all say that. So, you have choice now. Void of democracy, seeing as democracy is now in Egypt. You have two choices. You put your hand in meat grinder, or you feed it to piranhas. <laughs> you make your, up your own mind who is what and what is who. I am not here me to decide. I didn't vote because I am treated as Khawaga. <laughs> but it's okay. So, I continue in this accent of Egyptian Bond villain, or I go into my regular accent? <laughs> regular accent. <laughs> Pain in the neck doing that, because like sometimes I don't know if there would be like one Egyptian going, Is he being racist? <laughs> Is he one of those self-hating Egyptians? <laughs> so yeah, my name, uh, I've been struggling, uh, Hashim, by the way. I owe a big round of applause to Hashim for working on this. Seriously, I have waited for nine fucking years, pardon my French little children, but nine fucking years for something like his to take place and root and flourish. Instantly to the ego. This man has got no ego. Well, he has some ego. All men have ego. But I mean, you know what I mean? He's not like, I am the best comedian in Egypt. There are some Egyptian comedians. Their email address is only Egyptian comedian in Egypt at hotmail.com. <laughs> Whenever I write to him, I'm like, fuck that shit. <laughs> I shouldn't swear, I shouldn't swear. You know, I, I, it is, look, guys, I, I work as a teacher. Believe it or not, I still work as a teacher. They trust me with the children. <laughs> Today you're gonna learn about S and M. <laughs> not really. This, what's this whip for? I'll show you. <laughs> Bend over. No. Too much? No. Cross the line? Sorry. Yeah. I, I grew up in Britain for 30 years. I have a good strong English accent as you can hear. It's called globalization. Look to your apples and blackberries and you'll see the proof. I teach history and art and SS. Now this is not meant to be thought of as the original SA that then later on became the SS. No, this means social studies. Where you're learning about the history and the geography. <laughs> However, in the first day the headmaster said it is verboten. Which means forbidden. <laughs> you're used to that word here, Egypt. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Paradise. 
topless bar is coming soon. Um, so he was like, you can't talk about religion, and you can't talk about politics. And I'm like, okay, so I teach grade 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 and 10 and 11 and 12. And we talk about history, religion, in those, like, you know, the Crusades! <laughs> grade 12. <laughs> B.C. A.D. Grade 5. What is B.C., sir? Before Christmas? What is A.D., sir? After death? I'm not far off. Okay, what else do I talk about? Ah, weight loss. Now, it might not look it, you know, but I am dressed in black, which, as we all know in the Middle East, is the slimming color. If you're gonna dress in anything, dress in black, because no one can see any squat. It's like Casper the Negative Ghost floating along. You ever see them when they're floating in the metro? You know when you go on the Egyptian metro and suddenly you just see this like... And you don't know if it's like something out of the ring. I'm sorry, that's bad. They're laughing, so it's not my fault. It's all that matters, the laughter. Now I'll tell you a sad story. No, uh, well this is a bit of a funny sad story, because you see, uh, for 26 years, I'm 35, turning 36. Yeah, yeah! I don't look a day older, 33, because I use Nivea. But anyway. <laughs> Rip the child apart and then use the fat. No. Oh my God. <laughs> I've been reading a lot of Edgar Allan Poe, I'm sorry, I teach English literature sometimes. Anyway, so. Human sacrifices. That's theater. Now, um, so I was in Camden. I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to Camden or London. Yeah, you have? Uh, if there's like the food court, okay? I think the equivalent of it would be a food court in a mall, but Camden has got a bit of heart, you know, it's where you can go get good clothes, you know, good food, tools for drugs, <laughs> drugs. <laughs> Legally. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but anyway, that was another story. University. Now, anyway, so you know, like how sometimes when you go through a food court, there's always like, you know, they all try to tell you, you know, you see it here in the malls when you're in Egypt. Like, I don't know if it, I live in 6 of October, miles away. But like, I live in 6 of October, so I go to Dandy Mall when you're walking around the mall, not Dandy, uh, Mall of Arabia. There will be like, go 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 You thought that I would have thought, you know, taking the mess. Oh, well, we got people over here as well. Yeah. You've probably just been seeing the bald spot. <laughs> yes, I know. To ladies too. <laughs> what? I'm not the one who created aging. <laughs> Anyhow, so that was an indication. But believe it or not, on May the seventh this year, I actually reluctantly, against my choice, went to go and started doing weight loss dieting. And I was, believe it or not, let's do an auction. How fat do you think I was? Do I have, the, do I have anyone on 300? 300, 300 kilos? You think I was 300? You think I was, damn, really? <laughs> what, you thought I'd be like, mother, I'm home. <laughs> Where's the cat? <laughs> damn, man, thanks, thanks. I'm deleting your phone number after this game. <laughs> Anyway, uh, 200. What? 200. 200. That's the talk about I can still be friends with you guys. <laughs> Anyone else? We have 200. Do we have anything to oh, laugh Kilos, yeah. 205. Uh, <laughs> 201. 185. Uh, 185. Okay. 143 kilos, 0.5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was a fat. <laughs> Whatever you guys, you know, like. Now, I have lost, believe it or not, 16 kilos. Yeah. I'll strip and show you the proof, but just take my word for it. Um, 
You guys seem like such a good crowd, and I'd like to try something I did last year at the Edinburgh French Festival. I'm hoping to take passion to that. Or if you want to cover up, so leave on this. Wrap it. Subscribe! Bing!